Today we say goodbye to pace. Today we innovate. The pace Bozeman offense is finished. Today I'm going to show you something brand new that has the potential to be even better. So today, I'm going to be switching the Fantastic 10 around and this is the lineup I'm going to be using with my uh, newly bought Defensive Player of the Year, Joakim Noah at center and my Anthony Davis as my power forward. Also, Dynamic Draymond Green is going to be the backup power forward and the offense I'm going to teach you is what I call the Flow Motion Powerball offense. It is completely different from the pace, it requires no pick and roll, and it does not need your superstar to be great. It is a team first offense that's going to run with down screens, pin downs, pick and fades, and most importantly, post ups. And as you can see, the results on the initial testing stage on Domination has been glorious. Domination is an easier setting, no doubt. But this is how I usually like to do when I want to build up an offense in the beginning. But you can see from the stats here, easy or not, you beat a team like this, this is a thorough beating. So, without further delay, let's get into this flow motion powerball offense in detail. And I am not kidding. It might be better than the pace motion. If I give this a couple of another week or so, week or two, I think this is gonna be end up even better than the pace motion. So what drives this offense is uh two free Lance branches that is coming out of the flow motion freelance. Obviously, we'll be changing it to that now. We'll be using flow motion freelance. And also, another thing that drives this offense is a ISO middle pick and fade. So two branches and a middle pick and fade. And all of this can add up to create one of the deadliest action in 2K16 that I will also discuss in this flow motion powerball offense. So let's begin by first looking at one of the branches that comes from the flow motion. And this first branch is what I call a wing pass that leads to a handler drive. So take a look at it here. We're already in flow and to start it, all you gotta do is bring the ball up to the middle. You don't need to call anything. Just bring the ball up to the middle and it starts in 0 0.5 seconds-ish if you get the right spot. There it is. So we're gonna pass it to the wing, which leads to a handoff that leads to the handler driving baseline off a pick. This is one action and this one in itself is very deadly. You can see again, I have talked to 2K developer Desar. The flow motion freelance is the ones that starts the quickest in 2K now. So you can see, just bring the ball to the middle. There it is. We're going to hand it off. Drive baseline. If the drive is not there, you go to the post up. That's the beauty of the flow motion. Use your post moves, turn around, fade away, use them all. Watch my post up tutorial. Do what you're going to do in the post that dominates. You get good post position out of this offense. Here it is. We're going to give it to the wing who comes down this initial branch, which once again leads to a handoff, and the handoff leads to the ball handler driving baseline. Here it's not there, so we kick it back to the postman, drive it to the paint, kick it back out, use that flow motion spacing, post move, spin baseline, power ball family, power ball. All right, let's take a look at the branch number two that drives this offense. This one, instead of this time passing it to the wing, you're gonna wait for the wing to come pick you. And this actually leads to pin downs on both sides of the court, which it lets you get open freeze. So here it is, we're gonna bring it down, flow motion starts in less than a second. There it is, we're gonna not pass it to him, use the pick, and you see the double pin downs on both ways, both corners, clay on one side, Durant on the other. Bang, and he bang, bang, bang. Here it is again, you can see it, we force the miss, grab a rebound, and you see how quickly I can flow into this. This is off a rebound, off a miss, in transition, bring the ball to the middle, don't touch anything. Wait for the branches to come up, it'll be real fast, use the pin. Remember, they're gonna break both ways off pin downs on two bigs. Clay Thompson is open on this side, bang! If you got brick walls on both your big men and two shooters, this branch is deadly. Here it is again, we grab a rebound, once again, in transition! This is how quickly this could happen when the flow motion. You see it again, it says flow up there. We get it to the branch, we're not gonna pass, we're gonna use the screen, bang! Double side! Two screens, pick a shooter, Clay Thompson wide open, free ball, dang it, but it's still a good play. <laughs> Alright, with that said, so those are the two branches that drive the offense. Now let's take let's take a look at the loop or the lubrication of this flow motion. Much like the pace motion, it's a isolation in the middle, but instead you're gonna run a pick and fade. Alright? So you can take a look at it here. We're gonna begin the position. We're not gonna trigger the, the two strong branches, the wing pass or the wing or the wing screen. Instead, we're just gonna call a quick isolation. You see there? There's the fade. We break the branches. And with the fade, we can always pass it to the center, and the other big will always dive in. 
this is very deadly offense. Beautiful work by Draymond. And by the way, Draymond is the perfect power forward for this offense because with him you can go flow motion and pace motion. Anyhow, you see here again, we run the pick and fade in the middle out of isolation. We get it down to Joakim, drive it into the paint. If you catch it with the center, there's no jumper, drive it into the paint, it will shift the defense and then you'll be able to find corner shooters or an easy dump off to the other big. Here it is again, a pick and fade in transition. Right in the middle, bang, hit the screen, we get it back to Joakim, nothing, so we drive it into the paint, the defense shifts, we catch it in the corner, bang, still free balls, no pace motion necessary, the flow motion just as deadly. Here it is again, we're in flow, we go to the middle, we get to the pick and fade, doesn't work the first time, we stay patient, we call it again for Lamarcus, there it is, pick and fade, this time they give up the lane, the defense has to shift out of this pick and fade, read and react, make the right decision, jumper, drive with the big man, kick out or drive it into the hole with the ball handler. Now with all that said, all of that stuff I just showed you, none of it might work ones you know like the first branch might not work the second branch might not work and even the pick and fade might need to nothing but what this offense does is because of the spacing of the flow motion you are allowed to what i call what we're now going to refer to as the dominator and the dominator is a simple corner flush not flushing from the middle but flushing from the corners all right this is very deadly in flow motion spacing because it's kind of like a high free two. So the baselines are really open. And if you got two big men that can shoot, they can't set down too much as you flush. And flushing from the corner, it's very hard to defend the passing lane. So take a look at what I mean. You can see the uh, initial flow motion offense does not work. We trigger a branch here, we get it to KD, nothing much. But because of the spacing, they're always in line on the low post there. See, they're in line so I can just flush the corner guy give it to the postman and flush. In flow motion, there's kind of like a straight line of four players at the bottom end of the court from low post to the corner. It creates this perfect line to flush. So here we start the flow motion initially, nothing much. We get it to Joakim, rotate back to Clay, call for a pick, dump it off to Joakim, corner flush. Look at the spacing on the court, really opens up this flush. And you can't back up Joakim too much. If the user backs up, you can just take a nice mid-range jumper with Joakim, Anthony Davis, Lamarcus, Dirk Dominski, whichever big you want to use in flow motion. Very deadly. You can see here again, we're triggering the flow freelance. What's so Westbrook? There it is. We're gonna use the pick, which leads to the double corner freeze. We're just gonna go. There's no freeze, so we rotate the ball back to the corner. Nice and easy. Now you know we're running Dominator. Corner flush between Kawhi and AD. Kawhi too fast, layup, he misses it, but good spacing, grabs it, throws it back down. This dominator, this corner flush drives this offense. If the initial stuff I show you, the two branches and the pick and fade does not work, you go to the dominator. There's always going to be a guy in the corner of both wings and there's always going to be a postman ready for an easy post-up entry pass. You see here, there he is, catch it, flush the corner guy. The spacing on the other end is usually perfect with three sh two shooters and another pick that can mid-range. There's always going to be that lane for you, right from the corner. You need to get this into the into your head family. This corner flush is what drives this offense. If the initial stuff doesn't work, don't even delay. You know what you're going to. Kick it to the corner wing, kick, ask the postman to come up, kick it back to the postman. You see, I run it twice here. We give it to the postman, corner flush again. Deadly as heck. Two shooters on the weak side, can't bring too much help. Mid-range free ball, take what you want to take. And here's the last dominated clip of the day. As you can see, we're starting the flow offense. We're gonna go with that middle pick and fade, nothing. We go into the post, we see KD over there, we give it to him. No, we're not gonna use the pick. We're gonna ask AD to come up to KD again, catch it, flush KD and break catch, pair with defense by Marcus Fortin, bang, the dominator. All right, and our last series of the day, just to show you the initial stages of developing this. The flow motion, like I said earlier, is better than the pace motion because it allows you to have a stronger defensive lineup. I've actually created a brand new set of settings for the flow motion, power ball, defense. I'll probably discuss those on Monday or Tuesday, but you can see here that defense is much stronger than the pace motion small ball lineup because you're bigger and you're stronger. And the flow motion is also very nice. You can flow into pick and phase right out of misses. I suggest if you get misses and you grab defensive rebounds on the defensive end, in flow motion, always, always push the pace. Because the offenses start so quickly. Like I've talked at the start, this is the quickest starting freelance in the game. And like I said, with bigger players, we're not no longer playing small ball, we can protect the rim and we're gonna grab all the rebounds because we're huge now. We don't need to scramble. 
and we're just gonna flow right into the offense on the other end. We can start the branches or we can run the middle pick and fade here. We get it to AD, drive it into the paint, find someone that's open, dump pass, Draymond Green. That's glorious power ball offense. Completely different from pace motion, just as good and maybe even better. And once again, you see this on ball D, that's very nice. This system does encourage on ball D. So like I said, I'll discuss the system in detail, but you see, I shifted here on the bad free, but because we're huge offensive rebounds, now we get putbacks. You never get offensive rebounds in pace motion, but you're gonna get it now because the team is just so big. All right, and last clip of the day, just to show you the strength of the flow motion, two way power ball. There it is, very, very solid defense. You can go off ball, you can go on ball. I pin him on ball here. Shut it back down with Joakim, there's nothing here. The defense is very balanced, you don't need to scramble anymore like I said earlier because it's not small ball. Much more disciplined defense. This system is... It's getting up there. I'll test it further by playing on harder difficulties and also playing online. And also playing, you know, way better players online. We'll see how it goes, but so far the initial signs are glorious. Corner flush, Dominator! Great spacing for the corner flush in flow motion. Remember that, that is key. The dominated corner flush, all right? And obviously, all of the money plays that I've showed you apply to this offense. So whatever you used to run with pace motion, you can also add it in and run it with flow motion. I've actually only ran two money plays in this gameplay, and both of them work. So here, I run the HP flush while we're in flow motion, but it doesn't matter because the play shifts the spacing of the court, right? So you still get to run the money plays. All of them are just fine. And you can see me here, we're in flow motion, but I've decided to run the pick six, which actually works even better with a flow motion lineup because of two bigs, much better screen, right? You're not getting a small ball for the screen. We've got two big screening, get KD right open, bang, 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 bang. Money plays also work just as fine. And that's the end of the game. So you can see here, the box score is just glorious. Now, what's this? This is a domination game, like I said earlier. So the difficulty is slower, but... This is what I like to do when I first put an offense. I'll take it higher to higher level. But as you can see, the fundamentals of it are very sound. This is a very strong offense. It might be better than pace motion because now you can actually use it with a very strong-minded defensive lineup that's big. All right, so scoring is there. As always, let me know how you feel about this. The pace motion to me is done. I, there's nothing much more I can do. Everyone is running it. I mean, so I'm going to innovate. I like to innovate. So I'm going to move on from that personally. So if you run into me online from now on or anywhere else, you will see me running this initial stage. I'll probably take a couple of losses because I'm trying to develop this over time to be just as good as the pace motion. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, if you want more flow motion videos, let me know. Use this yourself. Do it slowly, family. Don't jump into RTTP right away. It's not at that level yet you probably still beat a lot of amateurs but you know we aim high here in the family we aim high all right so as always thanks for coming by and yeah if you enjoyed the video add me a like share i'll see all of you next time